My name is Nancy Smalls. I came to Lincoln Detox uh, July 5th. <laughs> Boy, that's so long ago. 1973. And I went on staff. I was part of the nursing contingent as we were giving out methadone in uh, the detoxification mode. All right, we were detoxing folks five milligrams every three days. That went well until we told them what was happening. I usually gave three days of zero medication to prepare. Everything was fine, but, you know, once you tell them what's going on, it was hell to tell the captain. Now, we had older population, 35, 40. They'd been on methadone for years and decided they didn't want to do that anymore. So Michael Smith decided he would hook up with Dr. Wen, who was an acupuncturist, and that contingent came on board. That worked very well. All right, so that was 75 thereafter. Now, in October 1986 is when we really started dealing with women. We were the only game in town for treatment for women that allowed them to bring their children with them. And as you know, every woman got a kid of some sort, somewhere. And the other programs were designed for men, so they weren't acclimated to having children running around and whiny, crying women. So it was us. And Mike decided that we needed to have a program for the women because there was just too many of them around. So he uh, decided to rope me into that. And being a Leo... I'm lazy. I want to look good, smell good, give a few orders, and don't sweat unnecessarily. So I'm like, okay, Mike, you want me to do with this? And he said, well, you know, uh, we need to put something together structurally. Okay, what's that? I asked him for a book. He told me there was no book. I said, I beg your pardon. He said, you're just going to fly this by the seat of your pants. And if it doesn't work, he said, we're going to put it up under the fraud file on my desk, and only you and I will know. I said, all right, I can handle that. How much you paying me? That was the big faction, one. So he made a nice offer, took him up on it, and we started. January 1, we started maternal substance abuse in 1987. Okay, I structured a program that I thought was going to work, and, of course, by the end of the week, it was in the garbage. And I had to come back with a different approach. And the one I took was, if I was a patient, what would I need to make me want to address my issues, all right? So I put together a program that was six weeks long. You had acupuncture every day. You dropped the urine every day. You saw your counselor every day. We did women's rap group at the suggestion of one of the clients who said they all had lots of stuff they needed to talk about, but there was no place to do that. So that went so well, I made it mandatory. Then we were the only program to have a women's NA group going on. And that came about because NA, of course, was co-ed, and the women were saying, you know, I want to tell my story, but uh, I want the guys in the group to like me, so it's not going to go well. So we made a women's NA group. So at the end of that, we were the very first to have a totally women's orientated outpatient drug abuse program. All right? Your children were welcome. They ran rampant through the place, but there was always somebody watching. We had easy access. The program was from 8.30 in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Women aren't going to stay with you all day anywhere. I don't care what you're giving out. And we gave out breakfast at one point, and then we always had a hot lunch because a lot of these women were in the hotels and the shelters and eating all kinds of junk food. Okay? And... um that's how we started that. Now, pregnant peace, we were, give, we were uh, giving people acupuncture, of course, and you happen to look at somebody one day, and what, you know, you're looking a little plump there. Oh, Miss Smalls, I think I'm pregnant. What? Okay? And we're giving you five points of acupuncture, 
and you're pregnant, somebody decided that maybe we should cut down on the points and give three. But we'd been giving them five all along, and they didn't know they were pregnant. Now they're pregnant. Nothing happened when he gave them the five points. So we just continued doing that, and all went rather well. In uh, 1991, we got a grant to have the very first outpatient prenatal substance abuse clinic in the country. So the first year, we couldn't put it together. And then I brought on my friend, Jeanette Yard and Robinson. And uh, we put that together, and that went on for five years, and it was called the Sisters Program. We took pregnant women in there. The first year, I think we saw over a 1,000 women. Acupuncture worked wonders. They told me it made the delivery better. I can't believe that I have six kids and ain't a damn thing made no delivery better. Okay. But uh, the baby's weights were all up to par. Everything was simple. If you make it easy, attractive, and workable, the key word being workable, you won't have any problem having women patients, pregnant women or anything come into the program. It just they just have to see a light at the end of the tunnel and a lot of TLC given out so they feel comfortable and simple and make life very easy for them. Uh, thank you for me uh, to invite you to to invite me to the first conference with a Zoom. It's for, for me it's the first time and uh, I will try my poor English on you. Okay. So I, I, I'm uh, more than 40 years in, in my subject, gynecology, obstetric, and, and acupuncture, and, and acupuncture. And I came in 1995 to uh, Lincoln. I heard of it. At first, I heard of it from two patients from me. They were uh, detoxed. I saw them... Uh, a year, a year later, and they told me that they had detoxed with acupuncture. I couldn't imagine because my style of acupuncture, what I did in my uh, in my clinic, it uh, it was not good. It was too complicated. It was, uh, I think, uh, too Chinese, and um, so uh, then I said, no, it uh, that will not fit with acupuncture. And so we gave in that time uh, methadone. Methadone uh, after for three weeks, for six weeks, maybe sometimes for the whole pregnancy. But it is not in general a good effect. It is better than nothing, of course. But it was, is it is a problem for the for the babies and also for the family, for the women. And then uh, I heard from another clinic in the near of Hamburg a small, very good clinic, they detoxed with acupuncture and they used the NADA protocol and some points more. So, and I went to there, to them, and it was, uh, uh, I was astonished about this structure of treatment. Simple, daily, and well accepted by the patients and successful. And then I decided to go now to, to the fountain, uh, now to New York. And it was also the 10th uh, anniversary of NADA uh, USA and the Congress in, um, in uh, New York. And in that time, I spent a week in New York and visited Lincoln. And so in that, uh, in that time, I met Nancy. And I, I, I met Michael, of course, or Carlos Alvarez. And so I was uh, in about the tough structure of this um, a clinic, but not only tough and structured, it was uh, full of, uh, Nancy told it me, it was tough love. So, and uh, then I saw what they are doing with pregnancy and I was astonished that from they came um, uh, with, a, uh, with an emergency car also, and the thing on the first or second day was also to get needles. And um, so 
to that time, I thought, oh, is it right to give needles so in, in, in pregnancy? But it was a question of a, um, yeah, of, of my old um, education in acupuncture. And um, so I spoke to Nancy, she declared me all the things, what is to do, also that the men who are also treated, they are, they have, yeah, the men in our clinic are in the ground floor. And, uh, and everybody <laughs> had, <laughs> did it right, Nancy? <laughs> Absolutely, in the basement. <laughs> And so with Nancy, I saw an, an attractive, uh, uh, with a lot of temperament uh, specialist with very experience. So I, so I could trust her from the first moment that she knows what she's doing. So, and so after some days, I feel that such a program, not so big, but such a program, we have to start in our clinic in Hamburg. And it, it was, uh, it, it was um, after that, when I came back. So we started with uh, our nurses, mid midwife, and with my colleagues and social workers. So, and I, I'm very thankful that uh, I could see it in your clinic, that I had contact with Nada, um, with Michael, with all that uh, uh, stuff from the clinic. And so, we started in that year and we, uh, we did it uh, for the last, uh, what is it, uh, 30 years or more? Yeah, from 1995. Okay. And so I saw that it is uh, this kind of acupuncture with Nada, with the structure of a, of a friendly atmosphere of uh, enough, yeah, it must be enough tough and uh, but you it is it depends also from the team of course but we gave from the beginning all the five points and in pregnancy and uh, there are no points what you can't give in pregnancy at any time in the pregnancy you can start with this and this was for me that was for me a very fantastic um, experience to work uh, every day with acupuncture, with ear acupuncture, with, with pregnant women. And also we treated also from time to time their uh, men, but also the children. It was not always that uh, the children could also come to us. Uh, so that uh, was, uh, if a woman is pregnant, so it is uh, most, uh, uh, in most cases not the first baby and they could bring their children with, with them and they get uh, in the first time the seeds. So, okay, so now I have to finish my introduction. <laughs>